I'm going to be working with this Loctite adhesive. It's a urethane adhesive. And this one's UKU-09FL. This is what it looks like. It's a two-part adhesive. And I'll give you a tip right away there. That it comes with a cap on it. And I, I usually just use very small amounts at a time. And so I like to mark the cap so that when I put the cap back on, I put it on in the same orientation. Because if you put it on uh, the other way, you'll you'll get uh, you'll start to get a curing of the adhesive inside the um, the container, and you don't want that. So I usually put a, a polarity mark on there, so I know to get the cap back on the same way it came off. And what I do is just uh, I use this dispensing gun here, and it's set up to to dispense with a 50/50. And you're supposed to use a mixing nozzle like this. But for small amounts, like I use most of the time, I don't use the nozzle. I just dispense uh, small amounts into a mixing cup like this and mix it with a, uh, a stick. I usually get these. These are condiment cups. I think these are something that Hardee's or Bojangles use. And I did a little test here. I'm, uh, I need to install these stainless steel rods into this acrylic and so I did a test it's a point you can see it's a point one two eight hole that I drilled and the rods are point one two five so they go in pretty easily and I slightly abraded the end of the stainless steel rod where it's inside the acrylic and these have set up overnight maybe 12 hours and they're stuck in there very well um, and I think that's going to be a viable uh, solution for me I've got all these rods here that I need to install into a panel. I'm working on a Met Associates uh, grid floor. Uh, this one's an ENV-307W-GFC and I need to make a larger version of this and so I was curious about how to embed the stainless steel rods in the acrylic. They seem to have done a pretty good job and I'm not sure what kind of adhesive they're using but uh, I found a product that seems to work well with me and what I'm going to do is, uh, I've got a, a drill jig set up here on my drill press. And this is a piece of the plastic I'm going to be using. I've got a fence set up here with some magnetic bases. And uh, this is my 128 hole, my drill. And you can see I've got, a, this is where the, the, the drill drills into that hole. And I've also got another hole that is spaced uh, 0.35 inches away with a pin in it and so what I'll do is step through I'll drill a hole and then move it over and put the pin down through the hole I drilled into this hole and that way I can get that 0.35 grid spacing just working my way down the plastic all the way and uh, that way I can replicate the um, the, the panel that uh, Met Associates did and so right now, this uh, the spacing here from the um, the fence to the center line of the pin is two inches, and I've got another one to drill for the front panel, which is uh, actually one inch. So I've got a one inch spacer that I'm going to set in there when I go to drill the other piece of plastic. And so this is my one inch spacer that I will use um, when I'm drilling the other panel. It's only one inch off of the center line, so I'll uh, use that right there as, a, as a, a secondary fence, and then I'll run this other piece of plastic in along it and do the same process. And that's very convenient for me, and I, I don't know if they set it up that way, but it worked out to me where um, one panel, this one panel here, is uh, two inches from the center line, and the one on the bottom here which is the front panel. This one's one inch, so it um, worked out pretty well. And so that's uh, a wrap up on this, uh, this Loctite adhesive. Uh, it's, uh, the test was successful, and I'm looking forward to finishing up the project.